Michelle here along with Georgia Tech head coach Danny Hall. And Danny, you were just telling me the guys had quite a reaction when they saw Miami get the final out against Duke and secure a spot for you guys in the championship game. Absolutely. It was pandemonium in uh, the hallway of the 10th floor of the Sheraton here uh, in Greensboro. Yeah, they all uh, were very excited uh, when the last, you know, they got the last out. <laughs> now, you were making a habit of this. Two years ago as the eighth seed, you go through here in Greensboro and win the title. Now you're the ninth seed. You made more complicated with a fifth game you have to win. Uh, no problem for the Yellow Jackets, though, apparently. Well, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. But, uh, you know, we're very excited to be in the championship game again here in Greensboro. And, you know, a couple years ago it worked out great. Now we've had to, you know, do it a different way this year with the play-in game and then uh, winning our bracket. So we're excited to be in the championship game. Know we're going to play a great Maryland team who's on fire right now, uh, but we're excited to be there. All right, so what's the secret for getting a team through this several games in a short period of time? Well, you got to have pitching, and then you got to get some timely hits. And, you know, we were fortunate uh, certainly to beat Wake, who I think had a great year. Uh, we had a comeback victory on Miami, which doesn't happen very often. Uh, then we kind of stumbled against Duke, but then we uh, got a great pitching performance yesterday from uh, Dusty Isaacs and Sam Clay to shut Clemson out. And here we are, uh, the chance to win the title. Now you would think a lot of veterans, or it kind of takes veterans to do this, but you have, you have, you're relying on a lot of young guys this year. We are. I mean, there's been times we've started four or five freshmen, and. Uh, you know, but uh, our veterans have really, I think, been the key for us. They, they blended the freshmen into our team framework uh, right out of the gate in the fall. Uh, young guys have just kind of got on board and played really well and haven't played like freshmen. And this time of year, they've played, you know, well over 50 games, so they're not freshmen anymore. Break down the matchup for Maryland with me. Uh, obviously, both teams are going to be scrambling with pitchers. I think, uh, you know, when we uh, played them earlier, the guy they were throwing, Amar Drosner, we faced him, but I thought he had a great arm. We won that game, uh, but I thought he pitched really well. Uh, we're going to throw Devin Stanton, who we've kind of held out. He's been one of our key guys uh, for us. Uh, has had a little bit of uh, shoulder tendonitis this week, so we'll probably have to have our eyes on him pretty close tomorrow just to see, uh, A, if he can go, and B, if he... Uh, you know, can last very long. We're hoping that he doesn't, it doesn't cause him any trouble. If it does, we'll go to Matthew Grimes, who pitched on Tuesday for us, and then we'll just try to mix and match a little bit in our bullpen. All right, Danny Hall, good luck tomorrow. Taking on Maryland, the ACC Championship here in Greensboro. You're watching the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.